Good evening. I am Nitya Kumar Pradayani giving you the evening news. First, the headlines. Manipur pays rich tributes to heroes of Kumar Battle at Kevachin today. Miscreants hold bomb at the house of Extension Education Director C A U at Thamai Ban Hizal Dewan Lekai this morning. Um, unidentified persons kidnap a young man from New Labuland on Thursday. <laughs> Governor Guru Bajan Jagat today led the people of Manipur in paying homage and rich tributes to the valiant soldiers of Manipur who sacrificed their lives fighting for the freedom of their motherland in historic battle of Kongjam against the mighty British in 1891. The Chief Minister O Ibobi, his Council of Ministers, MLAs, several civil and police officials took part in this solemn function held at Kevaching in Thaubal district. A contingent of Manipur rifles gave the guard of honor and gun salute. <laughs> Floral tributes were offered to the statue of Pongna Brazabasi and the Kongzim River by the dignitaries and people present on the occasion. Gurvajan Jagat also inaugurated the War Memorial Sanketar Hall. In his address, Governor Gurvajan Jagat emphasized the need to strengthen the unity among the people. The Khyber King depicts the history of the great warriors and the Kongzim River narrates how the brave sons of Manipur lay down their lives for the cause of their motherland. Nothing is more important and precious than freedom was the idea which inspired the freedom lovers and led them to make these supreme and sexual sacrifices. Chief Minister O. Ivovi in his speech said we all should always remember the sacrifices made by the freedom fighters and protect our freedom. Interestingly, O. Ivovi made a strong observation on the cease work of the JAC of Amtuk and NGO and said 24 to 25 lakh of people cannot be held to ransom in the interest of 50 to 60 thousand employees. He also expressed unhappiness at the burnt and blockade in hill areas over government's decision to hold elections to autonomous district councils. Most tribal ministers and MLAs were conspicuous by their absence at the function. Manga Vaipai, Thangkulun Haukip, Thangmilian Kipjan were the only three tribal MLAs present on the occasion. A bomb held by miscreants this morning exploded at the House of Extension Education Director, Central Agriculture University, Moirang Kem Premzit, at Thangitvan Hizan Dewan Lekai, damaging some part of the house. However, there were no reports of casualty. The incident occurred around 9 in the morning when two scooter-born men threw a bomb at the house. The gate and some portion of the roof were damaged in the explosion. Police rushed to the spot to study the situation. Pramzit said he had no idea who hurled the bomb and he had received no demand from underground outfit. Meanwhile, the women of Thangmiban Hizam Dewan Lekai staged a sit-in protest in the connection with the explosion displaying play cards against the incident. Unknown gunmen who came at a Marathi gypsy abducted a 20-year-old youth from New Chakon area in Imphal East. The incident happened at around 2.30 p.m. yesterday. Around 4 to 5 persons who came at a Maruti Gypsy reportedly abducted him under duress while Nilashiv Waipai was returning after buying things from a shop along with his auntie. Nilashiv Waipai, as at about 20, who held from Fovi village under cycle subdivision, came to his auntie's plate at New Chekon for joining an army recruitment rally held at Bishnupur. Waipai Students Association and Kuki Students Organization installed block suspects to abductors as security forces. However, police denied arrest of the youth. 
where about of the youth is still not known. During a press conference held at Manipur Press Club, representatives of the two student organizations said that the matter has been reported at Parampat Police Station. President of Wi-Fi Students Association, Hounin Thang Wi-Fi, said serious agitations will be launched if the youth has not been released at the earliest. He also sought clarifications from the group responsible for the abduction. A 12-year-old girl who lost her way near Langol Game Village, John 2, was rescued by members of Manipur Pradesh Mahila Congress Committee and handed over to the child line today. The girl has been identified as Kim Mary, daughter of Chingchen of Vyulalen, Churachampur district. She cannot speak Manipuri. As a part of observance of Kongjom Day and a tribute to those Manipur martyrs who fought for Manipur in 1891, Indian Medical Association IMA Manipur State Branch organized a two-day training for voluntary blood motivators on blood donor recruitment and retention on 21st and 22nd April at IMA House Lumfell. The IMA Manipur State Branch also organized a blood donation camp at Blood Bank Rims today. A total of 116 donors donated their blood on the occasion. A journal entitled Hakchang Paujil, published by IMA, was also released today. CBI has arrested President of Medical Council of India, Ketan Desai, and two others for allegedly accepting a bribe of rupees 2 crore to grant recognition to a medical college in Punjab. Desai was arrested on Thursday night after the CBI conducted searches at his office following information that he, along with his associate Jitendra Pal Singh, was allegedly demanding a bribe of rupees 2 crore to recognize the college in Punjab, CBI spokesperson Harsh Bahal said on Friday. Bahal said that Desai, along with Singh and another associate, Dr. Kanwaljit Singh of Gyan Sagar Medical College in Punjab, had been arrested by CBI on corruption charges. The spokesperson said that the three were being interrogated and searches were going on at six other places in Delhi and outside. The CBI laid a trap after receiving a complaint and caught Singh allegedly with rupees 2 crore which was to be delivered to Desai. The, the agency also conducted raids in Punjab, Delhi and Gujarat to trace Desai's other associates. The student of a private engineering college at Bhuvneshwar died after eating hostel food leading to the arrest of three college officials, police said on Friday. Samsudin Saha, a BTEC third year student of electronics and telecommunications, died due to suspected food poisoning led on Friday after taking dinner in the college hostel in InfoCity locality, they said. Angry over the incident, a large number of students, many of whom had also complained of stomach pain and uneasiness after dinner, confronted the kitchen staff. The situation turned worse when some kitchen staff allegedly misbehaved with the students, who in turn indulged in violence and ransacking of furniture and other articles. The situation was later brought under control and about 100 police personnel were deployed in and around the college campus to prevent any further prayer up. Deputy Commissioner of Police Himansu Lal said three officials of the college, including two directors, were arrested in connection with the incident. He said, adding that some other people were also being questioned. Police is also looking into the circumstances that led to the death of the student who held from just food district of the state. That's all we have for tonight. To end the news, let's have a look at the headlines once again. Manipur pays with tributes to heroes of Kongjom Battle at K. Wiching today. Miss Koreans hurled bomb at the House of Extension Education Director, CAU, at Thangban Hizam Dewan Lekai this morning. Armed um, unidentified persons kidnap a young man from New Lumberland on Thursday. Thanks for being with us. See you again tomorrow at the same time. Good night.